That's terrifying. It was like, ah! <laughs> this squirrel flying through the air. <laughs> and they said, uh, <laughs> your task for today is to hide that on Voldemort somewhere. Everybody mentions the same three, and it's it's uh, Rick Baker, Rob Bottin, and Dick Smith. You know, so a combination of all those three things are just like so inspiring. You know, there are many others. You know, of course, like I've done a bit of feather work, but I'm no feather expert by any stretch. You can start off with hair here and run into feathers here, and so long as it looks beautiful nobody will notice that that you've used hair to hide the end of the feathers so when you're sculpting things it's really important to have reference of the correct age people you know so you're not imagining what a 60 year old looks like and sculpting somebody at 70 not 60 you know inflating Aunt Marge when she floats up in the air the final two stages of that with with you know inflating bladders all over her body and there was a lot of working out to do myself and Paul Spiteri it's always a full body makeup that's really difficult you know like especially when he's only wearing yeah. a pair of speedos <laughs> you end up with a situation where you're like if you want to shoot this film on this day we need to start making pieces on this day mm. like three weeks before filming really yeah because you need your repeats to hands, not wands. Uh, I've put lots of people up wanting to own their own studio because they just see what I have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So they call it uh, mold porn, you know, and they take photographs of molds. <laughs> it's like all the all the mold makers, you know, they have these, you know, collections of beautiful photographs. Or is the ear higher, or is the chin bigger, or is the nose twisted, or is one eye bigger than the, you know how how do you twist that up and what's the least you can do to somebody to be most effective and i've always taken that criteria and i've always worked with that idea 